time, the Black Stars, as the Ghanaian national team are known, had been coached by Europeans. As part of his plan to Africanize national life, Nkrumah brought back Charles Giamfi, who was playing in Germany for Fortuna Dusseldorf to become national coach. He and the players all had direct access to the head of state. Being a star within the Black Star, I can always go to him without even making an appointment. I go to him. If I'm in need of anything, I go to him and tell him. The Black Stars became the ambassadors of Ghana, spreading Nkrumah's gospel of Pan-Africanism. I remember in 1965, during the Kenya's Independence Day, we were asked to go to Kenya and exhibit the Ghana brand of football in those days. On Sunday when we met them, we beat them 13 goals to nil. A Kenyan national team. And Jomo Kenyatta was there. A very nice independence present for Jomo Kenyatta. At this time, the progress of the Black Stars reflected Ghana's economic and political dominance of the continent. When Ghana hosted the African Cup of Nations in 1963, the Black Stars were a shining example to the rest of Africa. Giamfi, the only black African coach in the competition, Agri Finn, the first of four Black Star captains to lift the nation's cup. Brimming with confidence, the Black Stars traveled to Tunisia to defend their African title two years later, meeting the hosts in the final. Nkrumah had personally promised new houses to the Black Stars if they secured a second African championship, which they did. In 1965, I was a footballer of the year. I was given a television and a, a special song by the police was played for me. All the ministers of state were standing up and I was the only person who was sitting there, but I wept, tears of joy. 